Good morning. We are in Montecito, California today. And we're going to be hiking the Romero Trail with pretty much this view all day long. We had to park away from the trailhead because there's not much parking at the trailhead. get go whoa we're going straight uphill this trail is supposed to be mostly uphill the first part and here it is it's really pretty in here birds are singing the trail whoo Straight up. All right, we've reached the loop and we're going to take the left loop up and come back down the right. All right, we've already made a wrong turn, but yeah, we've made a wrong turn, but the all trails gives us a alternate route to, to the Romero Trail in point three. So we just did an extra 200 feet in elevation don't know if we needed to do that, but we did. So we're going to take this alternate route. Just tacked on a little bit more mileage. And got some more cardio in. That's okay. Thank God there was an alternate route. see where the trail uses fire roads up there so we just came up the side of this power line road and we came up here to the left make a left there's some little markers here that tell you which way to go so we're gonna have to go down and then back up again yikes I don't know if we shot ourselves in the foot Pretty this trail is through here. Well, at least this alternate was pretty. You can hear water again. We're almost to the connector spot. Lots of flowers here. Look at this. Wow. So we crossed the creek and met up with the trail here and now we're going up again. So we came down from that power line, zigzag down the hill and crossed the creek. Trail's super nice. The first half is supposed to be all uphill, and the second half is coming back down 
to into the canyon. So it's so pretty. The birds, the water flowing. So nice. Still climbing. Look at that. Beautiful. just passed a guy that we saw at the bottom he came the from the opposite direction and he's almost done we've done a little over two miles you can see the trail up there so we still have some climbing to go Finally headed downhill. We made it to the top. We have about four miles to go. By the way, dogs and bikes are also welcome on this trail and horses, although we haven't seen any horse manure. I would imagine that horses probably don't come on this trail because there's bikes on the trail. But I could be wrong. Even if there is oil rigs out there. All right, you can see the trail that we're going down. So it's two miles up and six miles down. We just talked to a couple of ladies that prefer to come up the four miles because it's not exposed so much by the sun and then they have the shade all the way down. But here's the view. And we're up above Montecito, so those must that must be Montecito down there. And then the Channel Islands in the distance. This is a bridge. Yeah. It's 
So far the way down has been very nice. The trail's nice and wide. Even though you're walking next to the side of this mountain. But it's so pretty. Those two ladies we just saw had to be in their 70s. I mean, I'm getting up there in age too. They were older than us. And just making this look like a cakewalk. It's really important to get out and keep moving as you get older so that you don't stop moving. It's a nice cool breeze. You just got bigger. Look at that. So we can see the tra the trail, the alternate trail we took, where that power line is, that tower. That's where we came up and then came down, down into the creek. I huh, didn't think we were going to see that again. Nice uh, biker with a bell. I don't know if this used to be an old trail for cars because there's quite a few of those um, thingies, bridges, and reinforcement around some of these corners. So I'm guessing this might have been a road, an old road at one time. Montecito and Santa Barbara. Don't know if you can see the pier way down there. And then again, there's that tower road we came up. Such a pretty day. All of a sudden, these rocks are gold. That's where we came from. Our lunch spot yep. actually just break but we forced ourselves to take a 10 minute break a timed break well deserved so the trail just turned into a fire road for a bit it's got house up there talk about seclusion to go down this hill but there's my car down there and again the views I guess if I was gonna rate this hike I think I like the first half even though it's super steep you know for two and a half miles um, the views are pretty on this side, but you're walking on a fire road, so I think I like the other side better. And we're still debating on whether you should hike this clockwise or counterclockwise. We hiked it counter, no, we hiked it clockwise.
There's another view of that alternate that we took. I don't know if you can see the trail up there. But anyway, we're almost getting to the turnoff. We're back in the canyon again. Finally done with that fire road. So much prettier down here. Hear the water again. So this is where we were supposed to come up to start the Romero Trail. But we turned before this point and did the alternate instead, but that's okay. That alternate was fun. One more water crossing. We are back where we started going up on the alternate, which was this way, up to the power lines. However, if you're doing the Romero Trail and you don't want to do the alternate, you need to go up to the right and then take a left up there at the top at the T. Hope that helps. We see the road up there ahead. It's been a nice long hike. It took us four hours and 17 minutes, 6.7 miles, 1,643 in elevation. Anyways, we hope you liked this hike. If you did, press the like button, subscribe, and also, if you want to hit that bell notification, you'll get notified every time I post a hike. That's it for Santa Barbara. Again, because of the parking situation, we had to park up the road and around the corner. So get here early. Last view of the valley before we get to the car. <laughs>